I'm Dr Pixie McKenna and I'm here in bed with Joe Root. So Joe, a couple of questions for you. First of all, when you're competing, how important is it for you to have a good night's sleep? Yeah, sleep's obviously paramount when you're talking about international sport. You're always looking for one, two percenters that make a real big difference. And um, obviously sleep plays a massive part in recovery and making sure that you're fit and ready for the next day or leading into a tournament. So one of the ways in which you can make sure that that happens is by getting enough rest and feeling like you are fresh and ready to, to take on the day and take on the challenges that that day throws up to you. Do you have any specific bedtime routines for when you're competing? The only thing for me would probably be listening to stuff, um, whether it be a storybook or a podcast or something that I can just drift off to and be nice and relaxed and, and get myself into a frame of mind where you know I'm not thinking too much about what's to follow the following day, um, which can be quite hard on occasions, but um, more than anything, I just want to have a nice, clear mind and feel nice and relaxed before you know, a big series or a big game. So is it mainly audiobooks or do you actually read books to help you get off to sleep? Yeah, on occasions I'll, I'll read. Um, I think the, there's a few of the lads books that have come out that if I needed to get to sleep I'd be able to, um, I'd be able to put on the, and uh, <laughs> within seconds I'd be asleep. So yeah. We won't ask who. No, well, I'll happily tell you Johnny Best, it would be right at the top <laughs> of the list. Um, What's the weirdest place you've ever fallen asleep? Um, the strangest thing is probably falling asleep on a on a passenger, whether it be on a plane or a train. Um, I remember waking up with a, a stranger sat next to me, um, looking quite uncomfortable, the fact that I'd fallen asleep on them. So. Joe, what's it like becoming England captain at such a young age? I suppose you just take it in your stride. Um, obviously massively privileged and honoured to get the opportunity to do it. As a kid growing up, you'd, you'd play in the backyard and you'd be with your family and friends. You'd try and emulate your heroes and um, to now get the opportunity to captain your country and not just play for England is, you know, it makes me really proud to have that opportunity. Joe, you've recently become a father for the first time. Congratulations. Thank you. Has that had any impact on your sleep? We've been very lucky, actually, from being a really young age. He's, he's found a way to sleep through the majority of the night and we're in a position now where he, he pretty much does. Um, it's the odd occasion when we're away and jet lag can come into it, but um, yeah, I've been very fortunate, both of us, that um, he's, he's, he's a good sleeper. Okay, Joe, quick fire round of questions for you now. Dream food? Steak pie. Dream holiday? Uh, safari in the Serengeti. Dream date? I'd be with my partner Carrie, having an Italian with nice wine and nice food. Dream job? A professional golfer. Dream celebrity friendship? Uh, Del Boy. Dream musical mashup? Muse and the Arctic Monkeys. Sleeping Beauty or Nightmare on Elm Street? Sleeping Beauty. Early morning person or a lion? Early morning now, but I'd love it to be a lion. <laughs> Left side or right side of the bed? Right side of the bed. Big spoon or little spoon? Big spoon. <laughs>